my 48 Dodge uh, stake bed truck. So I'm about to uh, do a cold start here. We'll pull the choke out a little bit like that. Pull the choke all the way out actually. Pump it twice. Start her up. Push the choke in a little bit. That's a cold start. It's mostly original. It's got, uh, you know, a few aftermarket things like the turn signals, the exhaust, which we'll go out to see in a minute. The horn works. All the gauges work. The heater is a three position switch and the heater does work fine. I don't know if it's original or aftermarket, but it does, it's certainly period correct and it does work fine. Down here, we have the headlight switch. We have the panel light switch, all those work, the ignition key, the choke handle, that's obviously been replaced, and then the throttle. So here's your cruise control. <laughs> um, down there is the safety brake, four speed transmission, more what you would really consider to be a three speed with a granny low. Down here, let's push this choke in, let her idle a little bit. In fact, Let's just go ahead and shut it off. It's running fine. Down here, this foot pedal, that's the starter. You push that starter in, gas pedal, brake clutch. And down here on the left-hand side is your, uh, your high-low beams. That's the interior, oh, that's the interior controls with the exception of the windshield wipers, which I will show you have a low speed and a high speed. Okay. They work fine and they are original as far as I know. There certainly uh, were electric uh, windshield wipers available and I'm, I, I feel certain these are, these are the original ones. plate here. The engine number uh, here, the engine number is the original engine according to uh, the data that I've been able to pick up with the correct serial number for this year. I'm still running the 6 volt generator and uh, at some point for a long time I ran an 8 volt system in this because I just used to do that with all my old vehicles. At one point I decided, recently, I said why not just put it back to 6 and see how it does. I put it on 6, I adjusted the voltage regulator, and it works perfectly on uh, on 6 volts. Cranks real well, and so I'm going to leave it at 6 volts. Somebody, at some point, put in this other water temperature gauge. I have no idea why they would do that. Uh, I figured for the 10 years I owned the vehicle, I figured it was because that one didn't work. But I thought I would just test it, and so I pulled a, uh, a little can of hot water and stuck, because they had left, by the way, they had left the old uh, sending unit just hanging out here. And they had this one here going to the, to the engine. So I tested that one and it worked. Then I tested it and the temperature was accurate. I said, what the heck? I'm going to put that back. But I decided to leave you the distance in case you can figure out why somebody figured they needed to replace that. I don't know. But otherwise, I'm going to have a hole in the dashboard, and I don't really like that a lot. Okay, we'll do a walk around of the truck. I do like the uh, sound of this truck. It's got this non-stock exhaust system on it, but I think it makes it sound really good. I never did like the show truck concept this is not me i drive the things in fact when i took this to shows you know i 
people say, look but don't touch, I said, no, hop in. Check it out. Your grandfather had one of these? Cool. See what it felt like. Baby, you can drop my truck. That kind of stuff, but that's just me. Down here is the worst rust on the truck. It's, uh, as you can see, it's not a lot. It's just that one spot there. On the inside, we'll open it up, and you see just the beginnings, a little bit coming through there. Under the hood here, uh, the entrance in great shape. It, uh, it runs quite well. At one time, I put a new head gasket on it, and another time, I rebuilt the generator. Turned the commutator, put new brushes in it. It's all needed. And uh, other than that, I've started it at 30 degrees or lower, and it just starts right up easily, not a problem. I did replace that freeze plug there, um, and it's not leaking anymore. Uh, radiator looks like it had some leaks at some time, but darn if I can see them, there's no leaks now. Um, I haven't had, I've never had a problem with it. The uh, coolant, I, of course, when I changed the thermostat and that freeze plug, the coolant's all been changed and it's clean and looking fine. You can also see the new gasket where I put the uh, uh, thermostat in there. Uh, and the carburetor has been rebuilt and the oil has been changed and the filter cleaned. Um, trying to think. Other than that, that's about it. Everything under here is pretty original and uh, like I say, it runs like a Swiss watch. Well, it runs real well. We'll just say that. Quick run around on the outside. You can see the wood has taken a beating. Uh, in through here. That top piece is totally missing now. Well, the one that went across here, that one's totally missing. I have a whole new set of wood for it. That will be included, but I don't know. You might like it this way. I like it this way, actually. It does the job, and I see no reason to change it. The reason I have the wood is we were going to do a restoration on this. A friend of mine, Mark Augustine, was going to do a, a restoration and pull uh, everything off, paint it, um, make new uh, wood for the bed, uh, make new sideboards, all that stuff. That project never happened. I like it the way it is. I put the new ropes on the back. Uh, all the all the running lights, all the running lights work, um, turn signals, all that stuff. The only other rust of note that I know of on this vehicle is way back on there on the bottom of the back of the cab Let's back up and show you where you are here so it's on the bottom of the back of the cab and i only noticed that because i had the bed off at one point and like i said i was getting ready to totally restore everything but uh, that never happened 